Well, today we will be deliberating on dermatoglyphics, special reference to pattern intensity index, Dunkmeyer index, mainline formula, mainline index. The skin of the finger trips and the palmer and the plantar surface of the man is not smooth. It is grooved by the curious ridges, which forms variety of configurations. These ridge configurations have attracted attentions of the layman for a millennium. The anatomist Bidlu provided a description of ridge details in the 17th century. Since then, the anthropologist, the biologist, and the geneticist have added additional information for the last century, especially law enforcement officials have utilized the fact that each individual's rich configurations are unique as means of personal identification. More than five decades ago, monograph on epidermal ridges was published by Cummins and Midlow. The classic provided interesting information on historical development of the scientific study of epidermal ridges and invaluable suggestions regarding recording and analysis of epidermal ridges. Cummins and Midlow also coined the term dermatoglyphics, that is dharma means skin and the glyphics means carving. Dermatoglyphics is a study of ridge patterns of the skin of the finger, palms, toes and soles. The human body is covered with the hairs and the sebaceous gland, that is oil glands, except in the palmer and the plantar regions, which are continuously corrugated with narrow ridges. The ridges make certain patterns. Dermal ridge differentiation takes place early in fetal development. The resulting ridge configurations are genetically determined and influence or modified by environmental factors. There is paucity, that is lacking of knowledge, concerning development mechanism. The idea of Christian Bonnevi reported small pads would result simple patterns, while more prominent pattern would tend to develop large and complex ridges, configuration, that is world and loops. Epidermal ridge patterns complete only after the sixth prenatal month when the glandular folds are fully formed. There are number of methods for recording dermatoglyphics exists. The method vary in their requirements for equipment, time and experience and in the quality of the prints produced. The dermatoglyphics are usually recognizable by naked eyes. Permanent impression of the prints are necessary for quantitative analysis of dermatoglyphics. There are some standard techniques of recording dermatoglyphics on the basis of the choice of investigators based on preference of the features. For example, ink method, one of the best known and mostly used dermatoglyphics printing methods, utilizes printer's ink and good quality of paper. Inkless method, the most common method for obtaining prints, make use of commercially available patented solution and specially treated sensitized paper. Transparent adhesive tape method, use of transparent adhesive tape as means of obtaining prints of dermatoglyphic patterns. The first individual who used fingerprints on a large scale was Sir. William Herschel, a British government official living in India during the second half of the 19th century. Sir William Herschel made the natives place their fingerprints, in some cases their entire handprint on legal documents. Subsequently, Sir William Herschel realizes that fingerprints could be a general method of identification for both criminal and civil affairs. He introduced fingerprint identification on a wide scale of his province in India, but failed to attract interest back in England. Approximately the same time, Henry Falls, a Scottish doctor living in Japan, began collecting fingerprints. By chance, 
she was asked to help investigate a crime in which very clear print in the suit were left at the crime scene. This was the first time a crime was solved on fingerprint evidence. Faults wrote a letter on the subject to the journal Nature and more importantly wrote a letter to Charles Darwin outlining his discoveries. Darwin at this time felt that he was too old to get involved but passed the letter to his cousin the brilliant anthropologist Sir Francis Galton. Sir Francis Galton's contribution was to firm establish that fingerprints are unique using a simple yet elegant mathematical argument. With the performance of fingerprints had already established by the Herschel, the only problem remaining before the fingerprints could be use of criminal identification was a design of an efficient method for indexing the print. The Czech physiologist and anatomist Johann Sparkenzi first recognized that the fact that all fingerprints can be grouped into a small number of classes. In his doctoral thesis, he identified nine different patterns, including the arch, the tainted arch, the loop, and six different types of holes. Modern fingerprints experts still consider the first three to be distinct classes, but usually combine all the holes into a single class. Sir Edward Henry was one of the pioneers to find out efficient method for indexing the dermatoglyphics. Dermatoglyphics patterns have long since been used for various purposes for their permanency and unchangeability throughout the life, from the time of their formation into the fetus to the final disintegration of the skin after death, the pattern remain unchanged. Of course, the ridges may be worn out and thus become invisible owing to various reasons. Though ever since the beginning of the Christian era, finger patterns has been used for personal identification, yet systematic scientific studies started from the end of the 19th century. Use of the dermatoglyphics trait are manifold, but the anthropologists are more concerned in establishing variations in the respect of traits among different human populations. However, the anthropologists are also interested in the study of dermatoglyphics in the context of twin diagnosis, paternity diagnosis, primatology, etc. Dermatoglyphics fulfill many the conditions laid by the Boyd for good racial criteria. Dermatoglyphic traits are not modified by the environment. Dermatoglyphic traits are not adaptive. These are not subject to high rate of mutation. Genetic process of dermatoglyphic trait is complex and it is not perfectly known. Ridges and the patterns of finger, palms, toes and soles are studied from the different angles applying various methods. Here we shall deal with some aspects of fingerprints. Sir Edward Henry solved the fingerprint indexing problem with an indigenous solution in 1897. Scotland Yard adopted the Henry system in 1901. Since then, the system was has been adopted by virtually every country in the world with minor regional variations. Henry was classified the various finger patterns in the four main types, arches, loops, true holes, and composites. The composites form a heterogeneous assemblages of pattern. Again, three types have been identified by Galton. These three types are arches, loops, and holes. A loop may be open to the ulnar side or to the radial side and accordingly it is termed as ulnar or radial loop. The classic and widely used notion is A stands for arches, LR stands for radial loops, LU stands for ulnar loops 
LW stands for words. Another Englishman living in India, Sir William Herschel had already solved the authentication problem by using fingerprint. Again, the motivation was fraud prevention, but it was a Henry classification system which solved the identification problem. Dermatographic landmark is very much important for basic dermatographics. Landmark found on the fingertips patterns are triad area, coarse, and radiant. So, to define the triad radius, that is, a triad radius is formed by the confluence of three ridges system. The core, it is approximately center of the pattern. It is useful for ridge counting. Now, the radians. The type lines, the radians are the M net from the triad radius and enclose the pattern. The whole possesses two triad radii, while only one triad radius is present in loops. On the other hand, triad radius is totally absent in case of arches. Thus, generally speaking, the patterns may be identified from the occurrence of the triradius. The classification, dermatoglyphics, especially the fingerprints, according to the Henry system, is based on availability of triradius. Apart from the classification of each finger pattern types as qualitative variables, different indices are also taken into account for quantitative assessment for any individual or population could be demonstrated. Usually, three indices are calculated on the basis of frequency distribution of the different finger patterns. These are Furuhata's index, this is world and loop ratio multiplied by 100, then the Dunkmeyer's index, is an arch and hole ratio multiplied by 100 and the paternity intensity index that is 2 into hole plus loop divided by n where n stands for number of subjects or the number of fingers. Therefore, pattern intensity index in short PII represents how many triradii are there in that population. Arch is not taken into consideration in case of PII because arch does not possess any triad radius. Therefore, increased value of PII envisaged higher prevalence of world while contrary to the decrease of PII indicates lower prevalence of world. However, if PII tends towards very minimum value, then the prevalence of arch is higher than other types. Dermatoglyphics can be taken as a tool for population variation. Thus, finger patterns exhibit racial ethnic variation can be seen as follows. What we get in case of Mongoloid, there are 40 to 50 percent of the world and the loops being 50 to 60 percent and arch being 1 to 2 percent. In case of the Caucasoid, the worlds are 20 to 30 percent, the loops are 60 to 70 percent, and the arches are 4 to 7 percent. And in case of Negroid, the holes becoming 30 percent and the loops becoming 50 to 60 percent, but the arches is very high in case of Negroid groups, that is 6 to 7 percent. So it is very evident from this particular distribution that holes are most frequent among the Mongolite population and least among the Caucasoid. On the other hand, loops appear most frequently among the Caucasian groups, while among the Mongoloid and the Negroid groups, loops are found in equal frequency. Again, arches appear in very small numbers in the Mongoloid, and this is the least, and it is most frequent in the Negroid. The position of the Caucasian is intermediate. Now we are coming to the PAMA dermatographics. In order to carry out the dermatographics analysis that can be compared in individual, the PAM 
has been divided into several anatomical defined areas. The areas approximately sides of embryonic roller pads and includes the thinner area, four in the digital area and the hypothenar area. So the hypothenar area is just here and the thinner area just down to the thumb. The digital and the axial triad areas and the main line traced from each constitute important landmarks for dermatoclipics analysis. Typically, there are four digital triad areas in the distal portion of the palm. They are found in the metacarpal region at the base of the digits. They are two, three, four, and five. Each triad radius is normally associated with one digit. By convention, they term as small a, b, c, and d, proceeding to radio ulnar direction. Now, on the basis of this particular uh, definitions of the different region of the hand, the main line formula is the radiance of the digital triad areas traced along its whole course within the palmar area. It constitute palmar main line, one of the dermatoglyphics characteristics usually noted in the dermatoglyphics analysis. There are four main lines each emanating from one of the digital triad area labeled by capital letter again A, B, C and D corresponding to the triad area having the same lowercase letter. The termination of the main lines recorded in the reverse order like D, C, B, A are used to express their main line formula. Periods are used to separate the numerical symbols. Of the mainline formula serves as an indication of the general direction of the palmar ridge flow. For achieving the mainline formula, palm is designated as follows. The digital triad radius are designated as A, B, C, and D, and the line that is mainline index, mainline formula was mentioned earlier sub as serve as indication of the general direction of the palmar ridge flow. But comments observe that the termini of the two main lines, that is A and D, alone can adequately reflect the ridge direction. From this observation, proposal of mainline index based on the sum of the two numbers corresponding to the exists of the main line A and D. If resulting value is low, then it indicates vertical alignment, whereas high value reflects a tendency to the palmar ridge in the direction of the horizontal value. In the conclusion, the skin of the fingertips and the palmar plantar surface of the man is not smooth. It is grouped by curious ridges which forms variety of configurations. The scientific study of epidermal ridges and invaluable suggestions regarding recording and analysis of epidermal ridges configuration demonstrated its enormous value for population classification and importantly, its utility for personal identification.